Electronics. So in this video we are going to see a recruitment news from NCRA. NCRA is National Center for Radio Astrophysics. So it is actually coming under the Government of India Department of Atomic Energy. Okay. So there is a recruitment from NCRA and if you observe their career page or the opening sessions you can see that there is a lot of openings and it is for freshers as well as for the experienced people. Okay. And also there are some jobs which are permanent and some jobs they are recruiting as trades. So there is actually a different variety of openings. Okay. So let us see the post details one by one. So if you see the opening sessions you can see that there is a 2020 slash 1 page. 2020 slash 2 and 2020 slash 3. So there is three pages which is showing the latest openings. Okay. And this opening is especially concentrating on the electronics branch. So there is a, actually a lot of openings for the electronics branch especially. Okay. So we are going to see all details in this video. We will be seeing the post details, the qualification, experience detail, age details, everything. So please do watch this video till the end. Okay. So let us see the first category of recruitments. The first category consists of actually 10 posts. Okay. First post is electrical, sorry, engineer trainee electronics with one vacancy. Technical assistant B civil with one vacancy. Technical trainee civil with one vacancy. Technical trainee electrical with one vacancy. Administrative assistant B account session one vacancy. Administrative assistant B establishment session one vacancy. Clerk. 2 vacancy, lab assistant for electronics, 1 vacancy, driver, 1 vacancy, administrative trainee, 2 vacancies. Okay. So, wherever you are seeing the trainee word, that jobs are actually for temporary basis. It will be maximum up to 2 years. They have not actually mentioned anything about the extension. It will be maximum up to 2 years. But all the other posts which are not having the trainee word are permanent jobs. Okay. So, that is all about the first page in the first page you can see 10 category of recruitments and about the qualification details for this post let us see for the uh, engineer trainee electronics the qualification you are requiring is B or BTEC in EC with 60 percentage of mark the salary is 25,000 per month and for this uh, post you require one year of experience the maximum age is 28 years and this duration is for 2 years. Since it is engineer trainee electronics, it is for 2 years. Okay. Next one, technical assistant B civil. Diploma is a qualification requiring. It is technical assistant. So, it is requiring diploma with 60% of mark again. It is a permanent job. And they have not mentioned the exact salary. But it is said that pay level 6. Based on that pay level, you will be getting your salary. The experience you are requiring is 2 to 3 years and the maximum age limit is 31 years and it is a permanent job. Okay. So similarly for all the other categories you can see the details of qualification, the salary details, the experience, age, all those things you can see. And also as I have said if there is a trainee word in the post name it is not permanent it is maximum up to 2 years. But if it is not having the trainee word, it means it is permanent. Okay. And also, also for all the engineer recruitments, they are asking BE or BTEC qualification for the respective branch. If it is for electronics uh, engineer, you should be having a BE or BTEC in electronics. And also for the technical assistant uh, recruitments, you are having or you are requiring a diploma qualification. Okay. And for this uh, administrative assistant category, the qualification requiring is a graduation in commerce. For clerk, the qualification is again graduation in commerce. Then for lab assistant, you should be having an NTC in electronics. Okay. So these are the qualification details. And also if it is not a trainee recruitment or if it is a permanent job, then you will be getting the salary as per their pay levels. Okay. And the maximum age is from 28 years. The age limit is actually varying. Okay. You can see the detail age limits and all in the notification. Okay, So that is the first category of recruitments. The second category of recruitments is again for engineers. So that category is called engineer C recruitments. It is having two engineer recruitments and one administrative officer C recruitment. Okay, We will see the details. Okay, So engineer C digital with one vacancy then engineer C electronics with one vacancy. Third one is administrative officer C with one vacancy. 
So here again they are concentrating on the electronics branch. Okay. So the qualification you are requiring for engineer C digital is B or B Tech in EC with 60 percentage of mark for all the graduations you should require 60 percentage of mark minimum. Okay. And for this engineer C recruitment you require one to two years of experience and the experience should be in the analog and digital area and also in computer programming related area. Okay. Maximum age limit is 31 years. Then for engineer C electronics, again the qualification is B or B Tech in EC or electronics. One to two years of experience also you require in the electronics field. Age limit maximum is 28 years. Okay. So for some post the age limit maximum is 28. For some it is 31. Then for the third category that is administrative officer C. The qualification is post graduation in any discipline with 55 percentage of mark minimum and you require six years of experience okay and the maximum age limit is 40 years for all this three category of recruitments that is engineer c and administrative officer c the pay level is pay level 10 based on this pay level you will be getting your salary okay so that is the details now in the third page you can see another category of recruitments here they are recruiting the people for a specific location of NCRA that is called Radio Astronomic Center UT. For this RAC or Radio Astronomic Center UT location they are recruiting the next category of people. Okay, So the other two categories are actually for the Pune location. This is for the UT location. Okay, So here again you can see 8 categories of or 8 posts for which they are recruiting. So this is actually a very big recruitment. There is a lot of openings. Okay, You should see all these pages. The pages uh, is 2020 slash 1, 2020 slash 2 and 2020 slash 3. Okay. So the post they are calling are again engineer trainee electronics with two vacancies, scientific assistant computers with one vacancy, technical trainee electrical with one vacancy, technical trainee electronics with two vacancies, tradesman B electrical with one vacancy, work assistant laboratory with one vacancy, work assistant mechanical one vacancy and security guard with two vacancies. Okay, So here again they are mainly concentrating on the electronics branch only and wherever you are seeing the, uh, the trainee work as I have said it is not permanent it is up to maximum two years but the other category of recruitments are actually permanent okay the job is permanent. So that is all about the post details and the qualification details. Next is application procedure. So for applying you can either go for an online method or an offline method. Online method, uh, for online method you have to go to the tinyurl.com ncra 2020. Okay, so that is the site you have to follow. I will be posting that in the description box. And in that you can apply online by filling up all your details, photo, signature, everything. Or you can take the application from or you can send as a hard copy along with all your certificates to the given address. So you can go for either online method or offline method. Both you don't have to follow only either one of this you can choose. Okay. And also there is no fees for applying. So this is a golden op opening for all the people especially for electronics branch. Okay. And the last date for applying is 31st of December. Okay. Now talking about the selection process they have mentioned that if the number of applications coming is large they will be conducting written examination and also multiple written examinations they will be conducting and also they will be conducting some skill test okay so that's all about the selection process so there is no fees for applying so you can always try your luck because this is a big opening and the organization is a very good organization especially for the electronics people so i would suggest you to please go through the notification if you think that you're eligible even if it is for two years job it is since the organization is very good you can apply for it so please see the notification in detail if you think that you are eligible please apply for it as soon as possible and also share it with your friends uh, who are eligible for this job and also if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.